the subject of this month's tip really gets me going. I would tear my hair out over this subject if I had any hair. People are still using plus minus tolerance dimensions to locate features. I'm really growing weary of explaining all the pitfalls of this approach. Look, the drawing drives the entire process. When the drawing is unclear, it affects purchasing, tooling, quality plans, assembly, inspection software, tolerance analysis software, and the list just keeps going. The Y14-5 standard has proved that it can give you a drawing with one clear meaning when applied correctly. I just don't understand where this resistance continues to come from when I suggest following the ASME Y14-5 standard. It's really not that tough. In fact, it can be as easy as 1, 2, 3, and sometimes 4. On nearly all of your parts, you need to establish origins of measurement. We do that by selecting datum features that are used to establish datums. Because these datum features are features, they need to be controlled, so we put tolerances on those features, and that's really been clarified in the 2009 revision of the standard. Now, once we establish these origins of measurement, we need to locate everybody else. And you might say, oh, I don't care where that feature is in the part. Well, if you don't care, get rid of it. Every feature costs money. If it's not a critical feature, give it a big locating tolerance. And if it is a critical feature, you're going to indicate that with a tighter tolerance. And then, sometimes, only if necessary, do we add auxiliary datum reference frames and refinements to the locating controls for geometric tolerancing. So we have four characteristics in general. They are location, orientation, size, and form. But just like in real estate, the most critical of those is location. So once again, we establish our datums, we control the datum features, and then we have to locate everybody else. So the question becomes, how should I tolerance the location of these other features? Well, not with plus minus tolerance dimensions. Get over that, will you? Every feature on a part has a surface or surfaces and there's only one geometric tolerance that can in one clear way locate surfaces and that's profile of a surface. Now the profile can be a general tolerance or it can be right up on the field of the drawing. However we do have some special features we call them features of size and those features can establish a center, center plane, axis, and for those, we can use position to control where the center is, like the center of a hole. And with position, we can use the maximum material condition if we're worried about fit and free assembly, or least material condition modifier if we want to make sure we have material for some reason, like the part's going to be machined later on. And there are these special features that are cylinders that happen to be coaxial to a datum axis. You run into these mainly with parts that are made on a lathe. And we can still use position or profile on them, or we can control where they are using the runout tolerances. This drawing shows examples of some of these controls. I have a groove that I've defined with basic dimensions. I have a basic 17 locating it from my datum reference frame for my origins established by A and B. I have a diameter defining how deep the groove is, which is basic 48. And then I have a basic radius of 4. So I've defined where the ideal groove would be. And then this profile tolerance tells me how much the surface can actually deviate from that true profile. It can go in 0.08 or out 0.08, a total of 0.16. Here I have a position tolerance, and this would have been locating or controlling the axis of the cylinder if I hadn't added the maximum material condition modifier. Now this is saying there is a boundary that the surface cannot violate because I probably want this to fit down into something. And then we have this runout tolerance. Could have been circular, happens to be total with the two arrows. And it's saying I want to check the surface to make sure it's not varying too much relative to this axis. So it's picking up form variation, changes in size, and if it's not centered. So kind of indirectly, this runout is keeping the cylinder centered on the datum axis. That's it. It's really not that tough to control the location of your features. This is today's print reading. 
As an engineer, I want to know that the document I am approving has one clear meaning. If your suppliers do not know how to read a drawing, it's time to look for a new supplier. If you need help with any of this, contact Techies, because at Techies, GD&T rules. I'll see you next step.